The youth group staged an Occupy Youth Fund offices for the better part of Tuesday, paralyzing operations for hours. The group blocked and locked the entrance to the offices, putting it under lock and key to prevent anyone from leaving the premises. Their sole brief, an audience with the Youth Fund Chairman Ronnie Osumba and CEO Josiah Moriasi over alleged theft of 10 million shillings, money meant to be loaned to youths and youth groups for business expansion. And when the two emerged, the youth were shooting from the hip. Is the chairman resigning and the CEO or they are not resigning? If the DCI and National Treasury implicate no. me no, 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 no. You stop taking us in circles. Yeah. I go for a security check and I am told to surrender my handbag for checking. But I stay with it. Will it be checked thoroughly? No. We wanted gentleman Osumba and the CEO to step aside from this Allow. office as early as we are speaking. The youth threatening to stage vigils at the youth offices to force out the chairman and the CEO, claiming the youth were being taken for granted as they battle unemployment. I'm telling you, we will be in this office from Monday to Friday, from Monday with not Monday. less than a thousand youth every mm. day until you will resign. To beskia, siku hizo na muka asubui, they need to give us a way forward because we also need that money. It is we yes. who invited them. So why should I step aside? Investigate you. As we are in this office, the way we have occupied it, the war has just started. In March of this year, the youth fund suspended seven officers who were to answer to queries into how 10 million shillings was wired to four youth groups, transactions red flagged in an internal audit for the 2016-2017 financial year. The officers who were suspended in March include Masichi Riot, who was adversely mentioned in the internal audit report for allegedly dishing out the cash and procedurally. Others include the acting head of finance, lending and investment manager, and credit officers from Kajado North, Makadara, and Bomet Central constituencies. The youth group suspected of colluding with the youth fund staff to defraud the fund include Dunami Self-Help Group, which allegedly received 6.02 million shillings. Oxano Youth Group in Kajado North constituency was allegedly paid 4.07 million shillings, while Abengecho Self-Help Group from Kasarani constituency was unprocedurally loaned 2.5 million shillings. Koroba Planners Group from Bomet Central constituency, according to the audit report, received 665,000 shillings irregularly. Sam for the big question.